when you have gathered from your threshing floor and from your wine press. God is talking about observing a feast. Now let's go back to verse 15. From the beginning. Seven days you shall keep a sacred feast to the Lord your God in the place which the Lord chooses because the Lord because the Lord God Lord your God will bless you in all your harvest or increase or produce. The seven days of feast this was the Old Testament time. God said every time they had harvest or once in a year they were supposed to come together and make a feast and how we have to make everything is written here you can read it. And because he's blessing you you got to Make this feast. And today, are we supposed to do this or no? But in the Old Testament, it was only seven days once a year. But today, God is demanding us different. Now let's go to the direction what God has given to us. Let's go back to James chapter 4. James chapter 4 verse 8. Well known verse. We know it so well. Draw near to God. I'll explain you how, what he wants from us. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. In order to receive blessing from God, you cannot receive anything from anybody from a distance. I cannot receive the pen from Brother Siji unless I go. When I go, he stretches his hand to and then the pen comes into my hand. But you hold it can you give me the pen and I'm hand standing here. I'm not even stretching my hand. Let the pen come to my hand. It won't. He's stretching his hand but it won't come to me. Unless I go and take it myself. Did you get this? Amen. If you want to be blessed. If you want to want this promise to become real into your life. Unless you celebrate seven days. Seven sacred days of worship for him. Not every year. But every week. Hallelujah. Did you get this? In other words, you have to have this festival of worship and drawing near to God every day. This promise belongs to you. Hallelujah. The promise that says the ear of harvest is yours if you learn to draw near to God. In the days to come, probably both in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, we'll be talking and sharing and empowering you how to come closer to God. Some way this will be taught. This will be done. Because it's very it's the key to receive the promise from the Lord. It's the key. This is the direction. God gave us direction before He gave us the promise this year. Hallelujah. Amen. There was such an agreement among us, pastors and the leaders. This is the only thing that we need. That we must learn to come nearer and nearer to God. In other words, coming to His presence. It is not on a once a week, on a Friday, you come to His presence. In your personal worship, the word of God says, Romans chapter 12, you are the living sacrifice unto God. When you go into God's presence, you cannot go empty handed. What will you take? Not your money, it's not going to help him. It's your praise, it's your thanksgiving, it's your worship. Psalm 100 talks of enter his gates with thanksgiving. And every day you say, This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. And be glad in it. If you declare in the morning in the name of Jesus. That this is the day that the Lord has made. And will the day, will the day not made by Lord for you? And will you, when you declare I am going to rejoice in this day. Will you not rejoice in that day? It's up to you. It's your decision. What you proclaim is yours. Again I tell you. Every day proclaim. This is the year of harvest for me. I am going to reap spiritual blessings. I am going to reap souls. I am going to reap also material blessings because the Lord has blessed the work of my hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready for that? Amen. What are you taking tonight with you? Not the promise. Take the command. The direction. It says, draw near to me. Amen. He will bless the work of your hands. Show me. It's like, you know, 
We want to pronounce this blessing upon you. We want to pronounce this blessing upon you. Uh, I realize that all the pastors will come together. We'll pronounce this blessing upon you. We're going to take offering tonight. And you can bring your offerings, but then we're going to pronounce these blessings together upon you. That you will be blessed in everything that you do. Can I have all the pastors? Right? All the pastors, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is the word clear to you tonight? You got the direction tonight for the whole year. If you take this, if somebody said last year was not a supernaturally affirming, means you did not take that promise rightly in your heart. Next year, if you come and say, I did not reap anything, means you did not take the promise rightly. You did not take the direction rightly. I'm sure Pastor Sanabha and also in Dubai, also in Sharjah, will continue to emphasize on the promise and the direction day after day.